Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I'll be teaching you guys how to properly integrate and connect your DHgate account for dropshipping over to your Shopify online store. So without further ado, let's dive right in. So to actually do this is quite simple, and assuming that you guys um, already have your accounts logged in for Shopify, and here's what the dashboard looks like, you're ready for the next step. And the idea here is we're looking to get access to the Shopify online store. And to do so, there are two ways to get there. You could either click on the search bar right here and type um, apps, or actually you could just type in uh, the app that you're looking for, so DHgate, and you'll see that it doesn't actually show up, but uh, don't worry about that. I'll get into that later. So you can either type it here, or you can click on apps like so, and click on apps and sales channel, and this will redirect you to this page right here, pulling up all of the relevant plugins that are uh, installed within your Shopify account. So from here, you guys would wanna click on Shopify app store, like so, and it'll redirect you to this page right here where we will be looking for DHgate. Now, the thing is, uh, DHgate isn't actually readily or natively supported by Shopify as a standalone application. However, there are a lot of um, third-party apps here that have DHgate installed in their platform. So to show you guys what I mean, here's an article by Shopify saying that uh, apps like Importify, AliExpress Dropshipping and more, and Shopmaster Dropshipping include DHgate. So if we go back to the App Store and type down AutoDS first, <clears throat> here's what it'll look like. You'll see that among the supported um, applications, there is DHgate. So you could either use this one if you wanted to, but this one I should I should um, remind you is a paid application. So if we go for something like Importify or AliExpress, let's actually try Importify first. So here it is. I believe this application is um is also paid, but it does come with a free trial, as you can see. Now this comes with support for DHgate. Now let's do um AliExpress. So this is entirely up to you guys, but as far as some um, support for countries go, um I would opt for one that um is readily um supported by your country. So something like um Zopi or uh, D DSers or dropshippers is a good choice. So let's actually go for this one. And you'll see that I believe DHgate is also part of this. So since this one's free, let's uh, go with let's go with uh, DSers. So it's installed. Simply click on install on your store page. Wait for it to load. And most of the time, it's going to redirect you to their page where you need to sign up for an account. But it looks like that's not the case here. And we're going to click on install to basically authorize it to integrate with our store. So here it is. It's installing. And here's um here's the application for it. So you can create an account for you or register yourself. I believe this one is actually easier. So it um, automates the whole process using your Shopify email. So let's actually wait for it to load. Here we are. And here's what the dashboard looks like. So since we're going for the free one, let's do this one. Now you want to select the uh, suppliers that you you'd want to connect to. So an example would be AliExpress. And so all you guys have to do is click on link and authorize to AliExpress or whatever uh, supplier you want to use and log in your account and you're done. So yeah, that's how you guys do it. So hopefully this video helped you guys out. And if it did, be sure to let us know down in the comment section below. And with all of that said, thank you all for watching the video and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.